In this video, we are going to write an SMS webhook that can compute additions and multiplications. You will be able to send a text message with one plus two and you will get back three or three times four and you get back 12. We are using Twilio as our SMS service provider. And for writing the webhook, we are going to use Microsoft Azure Functions. You can adapt this method to work with Google Cloud Functions or AWS Lambda. There are videos on this channel that show you how you can write Cloud Functions or functions in AWS Lambda. The source code will be in the video description as always. The way webhooks work in general is that we have an external service, in our case Twilio, and we register our own URL, the webhook, into this service. Then when an event happens, such as Twilio receives an SMS text message, it will call our, our webhook, and then based on the HTTP response that it gets from the webhook, it performs a, a certain action. In our case, it will be responding to the initial SMS text message. Cloud functions are a great solution for writing webhooks, and this is because webhooks usually have a small amount of code, so the CPU and memory restrictions of the cloud functions are not a problem. Also, it is very easy to use the HTTP trigger URL of the cloud functions to put into our external service, Twilio, in our case. We are going to start by creating the Azure function first, and then we are going to create a Twilio account and connect this uh, cloud function as a webhook to our Twilio phone number. So first we are going to open the Azure portal. This is the console for Microsoft Azure. And in here, we're going to click on sign in. So the, the product that we are going to use is this one, function app. And we can create a function app for he, from here, but actually it's easier to work with uh, Visual Studio Code. Visual Studio Code integrates very well with um, Azure, both being a Microsoft product. So in here, we need to install a few extensions. And uh, this is the uh, empty... V Visual Studio Code project at the moment. So we need to install Azure account. This one, then Azure Functions. And Azure Resources. Okay, this one al I already have installed. And once uh, we did this, we'll see that this uh, tab will uh, appear in the side menu. You might need to sign in into your project. I had these extensions installed before and I already did that. And in here, we see that we have a section with functions and we are gonna click on create function. It says selected folder is not a function project, create new project, yes. And we're gonna do it in Python 3.9 and it's going to be an HTTP trigger function. Um, the name is fine, HTTP trigger one. And uh, we're gonna allow all calls so anonymous is good. Okay, the function was created. And we, we see that it already pre-populated this code that it gets our name and then it will return hello name this HTTP trigger executed successfully. So now we can run this function locally by going to this run and debug tab in here and just click this run button right there. And it says right here that the function is already running at this, at this URL. And we are going to make a request using Postman. So in here, we're gonna create a new request copy this URL from here. And uh, so this function will take a query parameter called name. And if it's not present, it's gonna treat it as a JSON request. So we're just gonna pass the query parameter name Vlad. And we see the response, hello Vlad, this HTTP trigger executed successfully. Now we are going to adapt our function to work with the Twilio webhook request model. So if we search for Twilio webhook requests, and we'll open this URL from here. 
and uh, they describe uh, what type of requests they will send to our webhooks. And um, in here, so they will set these uh, query parameters and there's a list of them. Some uh, notable ones is this one from, because one usual type of webhook is uh, uh, webhooks where you can subscribe to a service. So if you're writing such a webhook, you can save the sender sender phone number to a database. In our case, we only need the body, which is the body of the text message, and uh, we'll respond accordingly. So we're uh, going to modify in um, our, our function. So instead of name, we're going to read the body in here. And all this needs to, will modify. Also, we don't need this part from here. So um, the, our function will perform computation. So one plus one or two times three, et cetera. So we're going to split the text of the body in three parts. It'll be A, operator, and B. It'll be body dot split. So now if the operator is plus, then uh, we're going to compute the result as integer of A plus integer of B. And if the operator is uh, multiplication, the result will be integer of A times integer of B. And now our response will be the answer is, and instead of name, it will be result. Everything else we can delete. So now this function stopped and we can, uh, we need to run it again. Okay, it's running again and we'll go to Postman and now instead of name in here, we need to send body and the value will be, let's try one plus two, but uh, something to be careful is that if we look here, it's not URL encoded and we need to URL encode it. So we select all of it and we do encode URI component. So now uh, we see the answer is three. And if we, yeah, we can try a multiplication as well. Let's do three times four. And again, we need to URI encode it. And we see the answer is 12. Okay, now we need to deploy our function to the cloud. So we go to this tab in here, to the Azure tab in Visual Studio Code. And in here in local project, we see a list of our function. So we can, um, we click this button right here. Which one was it? Deploy to function app. So we don't have any function apps right now, but we can create one from here. We create a new function app and uh, it asks for a global name. This needs to be global, like on the entire internet, not just our project. And I'm going to try Vlad save, let's say SMS Twilio. It should be global, should be unique. It looks like it is. We select Python 3.9. And here, if you're using an Azure free account, some of these regions you cannot use, but I think central US is uh, enabled by default. And it's going to take a while for the fun for the function to be created and deployed. Okay, our function was deployed. We got this message in here. We don't want to stream logs. So if we go now to back to Azure portal in here in function app and we refresh it, we see our new function app in here. And inside of this function app, you can have multiple functions. And in here, there should be, yeah, there's this section right here, functions, and we see our function called HTTP trigger one. So if we open it, we can get the function URL and we, so we can try it now in Postman. We paste it in here and it, yeah, it doesn't have the body parameter. So we need to add it back and again, encode uh, URI encode the message and we see it works just like the local one.
Next, we are going to create a Twilio account and register our uh, cloud function as a webhook. So we go to twilio.com and click on uh, sign up and start building. In here, I'm going to fill my details. Okay, I'm going to suggest a password. Need a few more characters, should be fine. So we just created a trial account. I need to verify my email just a second. Okay, so I clicked on the verification URL that I got on the email and now I need to verify my phone number. So they send the verification code. Like that. Which Twilio product, SMS? Um, yeah. How do you want to build on Twilio with code? What is your preferred coding, Python? No, okay. What we need to do now is go to phone numbers, active numbers, and uh, we can buy a number using this trial credit that we have when we created our account. And in here we have uh, different options for phone numbers. We're just going to get the first one. It says uh, $1 monthly fee for using this number. We just purchased it and then we can go to configure. And if we scroll down so we can, we can set webhooks for uh, voice and fax. But the one we need is actually a webhook for uh, for uh, SMS messages when a message comes in. So in here, we're going to copy our HTTP trigger. We're going to stop at the question mark because we don't want the query params. In here, we're going to select HTTP GET. Now we save it, the changes, and because uh, it's a it's a trial account. We can only send SM, we can only receive messages and send them back to ver verified caller IDs. And uh, in here, yeah, I have my phone number verified, so it's all good. And now we can try it out. So we copy this phone number, and I'm going to open uh, my Google Fi account so I can start sending messages to this number. And uh, we can try it out. So one plus two, let's see. And we got uh, the answer is three, or we try three times four. And we see the answer is 12, which is correct. And so this part from here sent from your Twilio account is added because we have a trial account. If you want to get rid of it, you need to switch to a Twilio paid account. That's it for today. We have more videos on cloud engineering and Python. Consider subscribing and liking the video if you want to support the channel. Thanks for watching.